Good morning. Happy Saturday. Um, I woke up and, uh, yeah, no headache today. Yes, it was kind of a weird, rough day. Just didn't feel good. But today is looking up. I mean, put it on the wrong hand. Oh, shoot, I did. Still kind of waking up. I don't know. Do you want me to move it now? No, it's fine. Loki, please. Ah, so, yeah, so today, family fun day, Saturday. Again, because no one went in the main hot tub. She made a cruise boat yesterday. We spent yesterday making like a... Show them. I will, I will. Um, There's a porch and a game room and a bed and a windjammer and a... A windjammer. Well, a hot tub. Me. A hot tub and there's also um, a food truck. A balcony or a porch. I already mentioned that Oh, uh, you already mentioned it, yeah. That's the first thing I said. Got it. Got it. I missed that part. Sorry. It was really rapid fire, so I missed some of the words. And I'm still waking up myself. Yeah. Got a lot to do cleaning. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. I've got floor mopping duty every Saturday. Of course, then I'm washing my hands after I do the sanitization because now my hands are covered with chemicals, so. Ah! Speaking of chemicals, let's talk about chemicals for a second. What are you guys doing? Well, we're talking about chemicals. Do you work for the CDC at all? You don't, right? Do you have a PhD in uh, microbiology uh, or uh, chemical engineering? Uh, uh. Don't trust us. Um, we're going to talk about some chemicals and some things that I discovered that I think has been useful for us to understand as you go looking for cleaning products because you probably can't hear this, but like, this Lysol. Oops, no, maybe not. Yeah, we're out of that one. Problem is, you can barely find this stuff in stores anymore. If you yeah. go to, but then what do you do, right? What do you use to clean? One of the reasons I bring all this stuff up is like I was watching, like I'm watching um, Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake is on and he's cleaning one of his counters and he's cleaning it with Myers, I think Mrs. Myers cleaning spray. Gross. I'm home. Is that stuff good enough? Frankly, I have no idea. So I started looking at stuff that I can buy, right? Like I know I can buy some more Method products. They haven't been flying off the shelf. Not like Lysol, not like Clorox. Cleaning products. Cleaning, disinfecting, okay. Here's an EPA registered of disinfectants. This list is searchable. So you got a lot of stuff on here. Look up Lysol. Uh, Lysol, you're typing in Lysol on my thingy? Yeah, except it, uh, 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 I spelled it with like four Ys. <laughs> I think I need a cleaning product on the, oh brother, what's happening? Why isn't it working? Lysol. Quaternary ammonia. That's not how you, that, that's close. Yeah. It, I can't it, really it, spell it. It's with a Q. Qu quaternary, quaternary, quaternary. So. But you told me quaternary. I know. So this is quaternary ammonium. This Qu guy. Quaternary ammonia, um, ammonia. Clorox disinfecting wipes, quaternary ammonium. So quaternary ammonium seems to be a very popular chemical. Quaternary ammonium seems to be a very tough thing to find. The surprising thing is, what you can find still is a lot of these method products. So are these method products good enough by the EPA or CDC? I don't really know, but what I have discovered, you go through this epa.gov website long enough, you'll notice that one of the active ingredients in here that is okay, citric acid. Don't look at the top one. It spells wrong because I forgot the I and the C or K. 
So citric acid, you've got it in things like, there is a Lysol, uh, it's in Comet Disinfecting Bathroom Cleaner, it's in Raptor 5, I've never even heard of that one, but Lysol Bathroom Cleaner, anyway, it contains citric acid. This stuff right here actually contains Method Antibacterial All-Purpose Cleaner contains 5% citric, citric acid. But Method products are not on the EPA.gov website. So the EPA.gov website, they make sure to say like, look, this isn't a definitive list. So I can't say that Method is going to kill all the bad things in your household. Um, I, you got to look more into this. Like don't, this is, I cannot, you cannot trust me, but it is can't interesting trust anyone. when you can't find this stuff, but you can find this stuff. Like this stuff is not flying off the shelf here. Why? Maybe because it's not mentioned on, on the EPA.gov website yet, but it is interesting to find that this has got 5% citric acid. And I think, I believe, I, I, I believe if my research is correct, some of these products that contain citric acid on this list have a lower percentage of citric acid than this stuff. Another product I found, Thymol. There's not right. Not bad. You get the TH, right? T-H-Y-M-O-L. Uh. Thymol's in one, two, three, four, five of these products. Thymol is also, I think, called um, thyme oil. That's where thymol comes from, from thyme, from thyme oil. And so this is just the information we've gathered in case we need more stuff because we can't find this stuff. Um, I, drew a I drew a baby pigeon. <laughs> I don't know if this stuff is more effective than this stuff. It, this is still all up to you. I'm just, I'm mentioning the research we've done because we might have to start making different choices here because we can't find this stuff anymore. Do some more research out there. Wait. Let me know what you find. Are there any other products that you're kind of discovering suit the whole war we have against viruses that, and when I we can't find rainbow. this stuff? <laughs> Good luck out there. Let me know what you find. Jump rope practice. Yeah. <laughs>